Bonjour, welcome to the video. Today, we're traveling to the French Riviera. The region is renowned for its stunning coastline, luxury resorts, and world-class restaurants. This area is located in southeastern France and provides an entirely different experience than visiting Paris, Versailles, and other more metropolitan locations in France. Cruise lines regularly patrol the area, delivering guests to new locations each day. Or you can rent a car and explore the region at your own pace. No matter how you plan to explore the French Riviera, here are eight epic locations you should add to your French Riviera itinerary. Number eight, Ez. When visiting the French Riviera, be sure to add Ez to your travel itinerary. This charming village boasts stunning views of the Mediterranean Sea and a rich history and culture. There are plenty of things to see and do, making it the perfect place to spend a day or two during your vacation. One of the most popular attractions in Ez is the Jardin Exotique d'Ez. This exotic garden is home to various cacti, other succulents, and beautiful sculptures. Be sure to bring your camera. The sights in this garden are simply breathtaking. If you're interested in learning more about the history and culture of Ez, be sure to visit the Chateau Etza Museum. This museum is housed in a 12th century castle and features exhibits on the village's history and traditional Provençal crafts. After exploring the museum, take a stroll through the medieval streets of Old Town Ez. You'll feel like you've stepped back in time. Narrow streets lined with stone walls and no shortage of staircases mean you'll need to be prepared to walk a lot during your stay. Number seven, Menton. Menton is a beautiful French Riviera town located just east of Monaco. The picturesque streets are lined with colorful buildings, while the surrounding hills are covered in dense Mediterranean vegetation. The town has a rich history dating back to Roman times, so there's plenty to explore if history and culture are your top interests. It once operated as a health retreat that saw clients like Queen Victoria and an endless line of celebrities. Today, it's an adult playground with plenty of charm, vibrancy, and dichotomy, as this seaside town is sandwiched by the Alps descending into the Mediterranean. As a reward for reaching the top of Menton's old town, you're greeted by the stunning Basilique Saint-Michel Archange. This church surprisingly has two towers that stand out against the mountainous backdrop. It also hosts the town's annual film festival, which lasts for a month each summer and you can spend hours wandering through enchanting gardens, museums, and memorials. And if you'd rather eat your way through Menton, you can't miss the lemons. Menton sits in the ideal climate to nurture lemon trees, and the proof is in the taste. Shopping in Menton reinforces the theme. You'll find lemon-inspired products all over the town. Number six, Saint-Paul-de-Vence. The picturesque town of Saint-Paul-de-Vence is a must-see for anyone who loves art, history, old-world charm, and culture. This town clings to a hillside and is full of winding cobblestone streets, hidden courtyards, and high walls. One of the best museums to visit is the Fondation Met, an art museum with works by Picasso, Matisse, and Chagall. Outdoor exhibits on the grounds include a labyrinth and sculptural garden. And if a hotel steeped in history and fascinating architecture sounds interesting, check out Hotel du Cap Idunroc, a luxury hotel with a storied past. F. Scott Fitzgerald and Ernest Hemingway were both guests. A bit of a strange destination in Saint Paul de Vence for tourists is the cemetery. Painter Marc Chagall is buried here as he spent many years painting local landscapes. And the views are extraordinary from this quiet resting place. You might even see some people packing picnics, walking their dogs, or enjoying a book from a vista that peers through cypress and palm trees, exposing the glittering Mediterranean below. It's easy to see how this area became a major inspiration for artists. And for a more food-focused approach, the truffle market is an exotic treat for visitors. This annual market takes place at different times each year and offers an opportunity for customers to browse one of the most luxurious ingredients on the planet. Number five, Antibes. Antibes is a beautiful town situated on the Côte d'Azur and it offers gorgeous vistas, sandy beaches, and quaint cobbled streets. 
The medieval quarter of Antibes is spectacular to behold. Narrow streets are easy to get lost on, but you're sure to find lovely little boutiques with gorgeous handcrafted wares. And suddenly, you'll round a corner and be faced with the coastal wall of Antibes, with the Mediterranean Sea churning away below. Be sure to visit the Picasso Museum, which houses one of the world's largest collections of the artist's work. It's located in the Chateau Grimaldi, a medieval fortress. This fortress served as Picasso's private chateau and art studio for months, finishing over 60 works. For a more active experience, Antibes is also home to many beaches, parks, and hiking trails. And no visit to Antibes would be complete without trying some of the delicious local cuisines. From fresh seafood and hearty Provençal dishes to inspirational and mouth-watering open-air markets, there is something for everyone to enjoy in Antibes. You might even spot a few celebrities. Beyonce and Jay-Z have spent time here, and F. Scott Fitzgerald penned The Great Gatsby nearby. Number 4. Nice This picturesque city has a lot to offer tourists, including stunning beaches, historic landmarks, and vibrant nightlife. Nice is also home to many excellent restaurants, cafes, and bars. When visiting Nice, be sure to take the time to explore the city's history and culture. The Promenade des Anglais is one of Nice's most popular tourist destinations. The Promenade is a beautiful walkway that runs along the Mediterranean Sea. There are also several cafes and restaurants along the Promenade, so you can enjoy a meal or a drink while taking in the stunning views. The Old Town is another must-see when visiting Nice. The old town is full of narrow streets and quaint shops. Be sure to wander through some of the alleyways to find hidden treasures like art galleries and hidden courtyards. The port of Nice is also well worth a visit. The port is home to many boats and yachts, making it a great place to take a stroll and enjoy the views. There are also several cafes and restaurants located near the port, so you can grab a bite to eat while admiring the luxury yachts. Number three. Cannes. Cannes is probably best known as the home of the annual Cannes Film Festival, which draws established and new talent year after year. It attracts the rich and famous and has plenty of luxury hotels and swanky restaurants to match. You can even dine while enjoying a helicopter ride over the dazzling coastline, a truly unique experience you won't find elsewhere. But if you'd rather kick back and relax, Cannes can deliver that too. Plenty of private and public beaches are available, so you can soak in the sun and listen to the waves crash against the shore. And just a short ferry ride from Cannes, you'll find two small islands, Ile Saint Marguerite and Ile Saint Honorat. The islands are home to old growth vineyards that are still lovingly tended by two dozen monks. You can still find plenty of adventure without procuring a boat. Renting a sports car and hitting the windy open roads of the French Riviera will offer stellar vistas and plenty of interesting scenery. Number 2. Saint-Tropez When most people think of the French Riviera, they think of luxury and glamour. And while there's no denying that Saint-Tropez has its fair share of both, there's much more to this destination than meets the eye. Yes, you'll find plenty of high-end boutiques and Michelin-starred restaurants here. But you'll also find a rich history and culture, quaint streets lined with cafes and bakeries, and even a few hidden beaches where you can escape the crowds. Usually, the Old Town District is the place to see in cities and villages, and it's lovely, don't misunderstand. But in Saint-Tropez, it's all about Old Port, Vieux Port. It's the heart of the city and where the original fishing village first sprouted. Provençal-style markets are filled with fresh local produce and even a themed fish market, Allo Poisson, which features fish-themed mosaics and fresh seafood. It's also the perfect spot to catch an Instagram-worthy sunset as it slips under the horizon, casting a warm glow on the tall masts and ship hulls that line the harbor. And if you're ready to channel your inner glam guy or gal, you can spend the afternoon at one of the famous beach clubs in town. You'll have to pay to reserve a chair, but the trade-off is beachside dining and drinking. Number 1. Monaco There is a saying that great things come in small packages. This is undoubtedly true of Monaco. This petite principality is known for luxury and opulence, 
filled to the brim with luxury hotels, casinos, yachts, designer boutiques, and world-class restaurants. Monte Carlo is probably the most famous attraction in Monaco. This ritzy community is home to multiple casinos and the Square of Gold. You'll likely catch a glimpse of a celebrity or millionaire here, or at least see them zipping by in a Ferrari or Maserati. Ecotourism is also becoming increasingly popular in Monaco. The Principality has taken great strides in recent years to protect its environment and promote sustainable travel practices. Visitors can learn about eco-initiatives while hiking or biking in one of Monaco's several scenic nature parks. Start with the exotic garden, where you'll find plenty of succulents and other plants that thrive in more arid climates. And of course, Monaco is home to the famous Formula One Grand Prix. Each year during the last weekend in May, the only car race in the world held on city streets is unleashed in Monaco. It's one of the world's most popular sporting events. Getting a view of the track is near impossible unless you have some serious clout or dedication, but the frenzied atmosphere is well worth the trek. That does it for our tour of the French Riviera. Which was your favorite stop you'd like to see for yourself? Did we miss a hidden gem? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you let us know by tapping the like button. And if you'd like more travel content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Ringing the bell enables notifications so you'll be the first to know when new videos drop. Until next time.